Hey everybody, it's Matt from the house. I'm here with Emmett from Capita and he's gonna give you a little sneak peek of the 2223 boards. Let's check these out. All right, first up, the new Capita Scott Stevens board. This thing is one of my favorite boards for the 22, 23, 23 season because it's kind of a throwback graphic and it's also a really, really cool kind of story behind the graphic. So this is a pretty rad collaboration that Scott actually did and he worked with Jamie Thomas, right? Yeah, Scott was really uh, excited to work with Jamie on this. Um, obviously a big fan of Jamie skateboarding for years and I think Scott I always wanted to do a skateboard um, graphic, sort of like the old No Nick or Andy Hetzel boards of the past. Um, it's just kind of always been on the radar and he had a chance to work with Jamie. He's gotten to know over the years. And Jamie actually skated this, skated a zero deck or did the computer work just to transfer that into a snowboard graphic. That's awesome. So that was so, actually a deck that Jamie yeah. skated, scratched yeah. it all up, and then scanned it and made it into the snowboard graphic for you, Scott. Yeah, you can even see from the where all the scratch lines are, what the tricks that he did. That's um, pretty yeah. amazing. And the one thing you can't really see in the video is on the top of it too, is it actually has a textured top, so it's kind of like grip tape. So you do get that wood graphic like the top of a skateboard, but you're also getting a little bit of a texture to kind of mimic the grip tape as well. All right, next up we got another iconic board that was a yeah. instant favorite is the Spring Break Slush Slasher. This thing's been out for a few years now and it's kind of crazy because it's basically that board that you can ride in the park and mess around when it's all slushy and crappy out in the springtime, but you can also ride pow on this and there was one little change in this this year that was kind of a big thing, right? Yeah, it's got a lot more side cut in this thing so it's uh, gonna carve a little different than it has in the past. So all those guys that have got slush slashers from the past, now they're gonna need to get this one because they're gonna have something they can rip around a little bit harder on, right? Totally, yeah. It's a fun board to have in your quiver. Definitely not the one board that you're gonna have, but it's definitely one board that you're gonna add to all your other boards too. Yeah, they ride them, they're so wide, you can ride them short, um, good in powder or for just screwing around at your local hill. Yeah, these things are pretty amazing. Make sure you grab one of these and add it to your quiver of snowboards. Okay, so next up we've got the Outer Space Living, which is a board that Capit has actually had in the lineup for a while, and it's kind of one of those things, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, but uh, I think they added a few sizes, you were saying? Yep, we updated the core uh, to a new FSC uh, certified core, and we've also uh, added a new 61 wide, so it comes in a little bigger sizes. Awesome. So it's a good hybrid camber. It, you know, camber between your feet and then uh, reverse in the nose and tail. Sort of like a little uh, little brother to the uh, Mercury and the DOA. Okay. So basically all mountain board, go anywhere, do anything. Maybe somebody wants a little bit easier, smoother ride. Um, and I think this thing is actually a really good bang for the buck too. For yeah. what you're paying, you actually get a little bit more out of this board. All right, next up, probably one of the most sold boards in the history of snowboarding and it just gets better and better every single year. We've got the DOA, the Defenders of Awesome, and for those guys that like a crazy quick, snappy, aggressive, extra aggressive ride, I shouldn't say aggressive because this thing is already aggressive, extra aggressive ride, you've got the Super DOA. Um, so how many years has this board been out now? Jesus, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> it's been out that long, we don't even know. It's been a long time. Yeah, it wins good wood every single year too. And this is kind of that one board that like, nobody's gonna hate this board. No matter what kind of ride are you on, if you jump on this thing, you're probably gonna have a good time on it. Yeah, it's good for every condition. I mean, you can ride them inbounds or, or all mountain, yeah, and you park or pipe or anywhere. It's just one board that's good for everything. And you do see their riders actually riding this board in a lot of different conditions. And then obviously with that, the Super DOA is basically the souped up version. So it's a tad bit stiffer, um, but not a lot. But the main thing is that it's lighter, it's snappier, it's poppier. It's just got a lot more inside the board, right? Yeah, and you're gonna have a faster base on this thing as well. So if you do, if you like to, if you like the idea of the DOA, you just want that one board that can do anything, but maybe you're a little bit more aggressive rider who rides super, super fast edge to edge, wants a board that's gonna have a lot of zing, a lot of pop and push you, then you wanna go with the super DOA.
All right, and next up, we kind of have the women's version of the DOA, which is the birds of a feather. So obviously, if you've got a board that's super, super good and rides everywhere, we're gonna want that version for everybody. So the birds of a feather has actually been in the lineup not quite as long as the uh, DOA, but it was it was added shortly after that board came out. Yeah, and just like in the men's line, it's our most popular women's board. It's yeah. good for every condition. Just about any rider can get on this thing and. Uh... I'll be happy. Yeah. And again, those girls that, again, want one board that can ride anywhere. And again, nobody's going to hate this board. It might not be your favorite board, but if you do ride this thing, you are probably going to love it. All right. And last up, we've got the Mercury and uh, actually one of my favorite boards, the Mega Merc. So this board has been in their lineup for a long time and it's definitely been a best selling board, but it seems to have gotten a little bit more traction over the last couple of years, especially with. Uh, Arthur Longo and you know those guys riding this thing at you know natural selection yep. and side hits and everywhere so it's kind of a similar story to the DOA but what's the biggest difference between the DOA and the Mercury? Well you're gonna have the death grip on the side cut so it's a little grippier for mountain riding. Um, it's gonna have a little stiffer camber profile. We always joke that this or say that this is like the uh, Swiss Army knife for a guy that just wants one board that's good for every condition. Take it on a mountain trip you know, or ride it local. Um, it's it's just kind of the one tool for everything. Awesome, and then obviously and then, with that, yeah. we're gonna do a souped up version of it as well. You got a board that sells well, you gotta do a version for those guys that are crazy aggressive, and that's where the Mega Merc comes into play. So what's the biggest difference between the Mercury and the Mega Merc? Well, it's really similar to what we did with the DOA. You had a board that was a, you know, a, a really popular model in our line, and we just decided to make a higher end version of it, so it's a little faster and lighter. And that's really the same things we did here. You know, it's it's you know really the same customer for both of these models. It's just here you get a little bit lighter. It's got a you know a race tuned base on it, so just a little more higher end version. All right, Emmett, thanks for giving us a little sneak peek of the 2223 Capital Boards. Uh, if you guys got any questions about what we talked about in this video or about any of the boards in the Capital line, definitely make sure to leave some comments down below. We're on there every single day trying to answer your questions. We want to make sure we get you into some rad gear, but most importantly, we want to make sure it's actually going to fit you and your riding style. Also make sure to like, subscribe, definitely get that notification bell on too so you can find out when all the new videos drop. And yeah, no matter what style of riding you're doing, whether you're riding the park, the pow, or anywhere in between, grab yourself a new cap at a board and get out and ride. Because any day of riding is a good day of riding. A little sneak peek into the 22... Here we go, Scott. <laughs> We're going down. Bye-bye.